to start with 23. What was it like being a, a part of that? You guys on the weak side had to make sure that the defense stayed honest, but yet he had to, he took what the defense gave him. Yeah, and you know he gave him a little bit of everything um, inside and out. But his uh, his post game was really there. Uh, took his time, showed his patience uh, with both hands. Got to the free throw line, um, and it was really in that in that fourth quarter quarter where he uh, really asserted his will, asserted his dominance, and uh, took over the game. What did you feel out there? on both ends of the floor as a team that, that looked like the communication was better, ball movement was better, pace was better. Would you agree? Yeah, just communication. We knew uh, you know, what we wanted to get out there on the floor on the defensive end, and uh, we were pushing the ball a lot tonight. How does it feel just, just to get back in the win column? How, how good does that feel? Oh, it's great. It felt like a long time since we got a win. So um, you know, hopefully uh, we'll definitely enjoy the night. Um, you know, praise the big fella for, for a, uh, a huge night, historic night, and uh, you know, be ready to go for Sunday. Kyrie's 57 and now LeBron's 57. Can you, is there a comparison between the two? Do you draw any parallels or contrasts from those uh, two Different in the way that they were, that they got them. I mean, um, both were extremely impressive, but um, it was just the way that, that LeBron got himself. Uh, I mentioned just used his body, both hands, a um, little bit of everything in the post. Um, so in that way, it was, it was you know, different than Kyrie's, but both were very impressive. You were back at center tonight. I think you're going to be there for a while. Did you spend enough time away from that spot to kind of get out of whatever rhythm you had built playing in five? Um, you know, it's just been a lot of guys have been interchangeable, so it's been, um, I don't know if it'll take time, but um, you know, I think more than anything, just giving it on the defensive end and um, you know, seeing where I can uh, kind of pick my spot. So, um, you know, tonight wasn't a great showing of that, but we got the win. When LeBron's having a night like that, it's hard not to just stand there and watch. Yeah, I mean, as a big, you think, you know, go crash if he's going to miss, but damn, he didn't, he didn't miss much. Uh, you know, he, uh, he was special tonight, and it seems like he's that way every night, but 57 points, I mean, that's, that's uh, you know, seldom seen, so crazy. Kevin, I know the numbers have to come down defensively, but I thought you guys made some strides, don't you think, in yeah. terms of, you know, covering for each other? Yeah, we did. Um, you know, and that's uh, you know, what we felt like we needed to do. And you know, tonight we definitely, definitely got better. I mean, any every night he he's dominant, but that right there shows, you know, what everyone talks about, just being the best player in the game, being the best player in the world. Uh, when he's, you know, when he's in that kind of rhythm, uh, that kind of mindset, there's no one on this earth that can stop him. Uh, and he knew how important this game was um, for us. I'm um, after losing four in a row, and you know, he, he just he put us on his back, and everyone chipped in. What's the balance being out there with him and not just ball watching because he's been <laughs> in so dominant? Well, you gonna ball watch. You know, it's a part of it. Um, like I said, you know, but you just see the guys who's out there. They, they you know, D. Rose was aggressive. Um, you know, Jay Crowder had a great job of uh, his minutes and, you know, scoring. Like, they got, like, 17. So you just got to be, you know, you got to be ready. Um, but you definitely going you gonna to watch the show just like everyone else. Is there some part of his game, though, that, I don't know, his fall away or something that you particularly appreciated tonight? I mean, I've seen it all. Um, I mean, just all the shots that he's worked on, he was hitting them all tonight. You know, and a lot of it is just, you know, we, like, like he talked about is just him getting it back into better shape because he missed training camp. And um, now he can get down there and, you know, and bang and bang and you know, do all the things he needs to do. But, you know, obviously, the unguardable shots. I mean, it's great defense. It's a better offense. Yeah. His, his play on the post tonight was uh, some of the most best he's ever had. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of people want him to do that all the time, right? And people say, well, "Why don't he do that all the time?" Um, you know, that's a lot of wear and tear down there in that, in that paint. Um, obviously, he loves. He's a pass first guy. Tonight, he was a scorer first, um, but he plays on top of the key because he's a pass first guy. Um, but tonight, a night he knew, could no one guard him. Um, he knew we needed it, and once he got it going, I mean, he lived down there. So it was a he put on the clinic. Were you surprised to see him be able to back down six, seven, eight, nine, ten dribbles without? Well, 
how the and, double team was. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I guess that was the game plan. Uh, I thought it was going to be some double teams coming at some point, but uh, you know how they say we're going to live with it? I guess, I guess they lived with it, you know. Uh, but we're glad because we need it. We need this win. Um, you know, we've had two good road wins this year with Milwaukee and uh, Washington, two of the better teams in this conference. So hopefully we can, um, you know, string a couple together where we um, you know, play with the same mentality. Uh, you know, same. Do you think the shorter preseason has impacted everybody around the league? I think it impacted a lot. Um, guys, especially if you're a little older. If you're, if you're younger, it probably played a little bit into your hand. If you're a little older, it probably impacted. It definitely did. If this was new. This was, you know, normally when you're first game of the season, normally around Halloween or somewhere. And he was seven games in around that time. Um, and you can see, and especially us, a lot of guys came, you know, even though we came in, in camp in good shape, wasn't in game shape, and the games happened real fast. And, um, you know, it took a while. So uh, it definitely impacted a little bit, but um, I, I don't think no one's complaining. I think everyone's fine with how the schedule is laid out and, you know, how it takes away a few of the back-to-backs, et cetera. What else did you like tonight besides LeBron's 57? There are a lot of good things out there. Yeah, I mean, just, you know, the team, the, the biggest thing with our team is, you know, on defensive end of the floor, and do out the game, you know, talk to each other, communicate. You know, we all, we got a lot of new guys, you know, guys are trying to understand how to talk to each other, you know, and tonight I was a, in last game as well, but tonight was just another great step in that direction of guys communicating, um, getting on the same page. I mean, we all make mistakes, there's mistakes made, but it was talking, it was voices being heard, um, and we need that, you know, we need to hear each other's voices and, you know, we're going to win because we got to do them defensively before. Dwayne, since you've seen it all, was there at a certain point tonight that you saw this coming? Saw it coming? Yeah. No, it's kind of like you look you look up and he's like, oh, he got 35. And then next time you look up, you're like, oh, he got 51. Right. You know, <laughs> it just, you know, it just come in bunches. It happened in bunches. So, um, you know, he's just celebrating it, man. You know, for the big, like I said, one, we needed this win. And two, um, we went to him and he delivered. Uh, seemed like every time. Jay, a week to the day, you said when things would click for this team, we would all know. I know it's just one game, but what was different for you guys today? Play with a little more um, umph about ourselves. We played with a little more desperation. We was an attacker tonight, and that made a difference. Come on, um, winning the game. When you are alongside a teammate now in LeBron James, who has a performance like he did, Jay, how do you balance understanding what you're watching but remaining a threat? Well, he keeps you locked in as a as a leader on this team, especially when he got it going like that. That's my first time being a part of it alongside him, and he kept us locked in the whole time, was telling us to stay moving on the backside. He sees us. Uh, but we knew he had it going, and we just wanted to get him good looks. And when he kick it out, make him play. What are you finding as you made an impact tonight, 15.7 boards, you're undermanned, and you make your presence felt. What are you finding, despite not having to change anything about your game, is going to work for this team for you? I just got to get comfortable. When I get comfortable, it, it'll come. Uh, I'm, just, I'm being patient. The guys are being patient with me. Uh, and I'm just working. I, I believe in my work. I believe in what I do. Uh, when the lights are not on, and it'll come to light. Uh, I, just, I just They tell me to be aggressive, and that's what I did tonight. One final point, Jay. We've talked a lot about getting in shape, the physicalness that it's going to require from you guys moving forward. What is it requiring of you guys now mentally? Well, it's still an uphill battle for us, and if we take it one practice at a time, one game at a time, we'll, we'll continue to get better. Um, we have that mentality right now. We're, we're uh, approached the situation, and it came faster than, than normal, but uh, we're taking it head on, and we're taking it one game at a time, one practice at a time. We'll get better.